Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to RainyDayGuitar.com. Okay, I'm going to teach you a beautiful little guitar song called Diary by the group Bread. David Gates wrote this back in the 70s, I believe. Gorgeous, gorgeous guitar parts. He does amazing jobs. Okay, so we are going to, let me just give you a little sample of how it goes. If you don't know this song, I can't do this without mistakes, but I can teach you how to do it and you can practice it and have no mistakes. I found your diary underneath the tree and started reading about me. The words you've written took me by surprise. You'd never read them in her eyes. Okay, so that's kind of how this sounds. It's really pretty. It's about a guy who picks up his girlfriend's diary and he starts reading. He's like, wow. He's really surprised at the words and then he discovers later on as he reads that she's talking about some other guy. And because he loves her so much, he wishes her happiness with this other guy. Ah, very sweet, very tender song. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to start. We're going to do... Um, it's... It's, it's a form of a G. It's actually a G major 7, but it's kind of up here. So we're going to go, um, and the chords are on here, and pictures of the chords too, because they're slightly different. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to put our pointer on the first string, second fret and tall man on the second string, third fret, and we're going to go three twins, and twins is one and two. Three twins, twi let's see, three twins, twi ah, I can do it, I just can't say it. Three twins, three, three, then we're going to pinch one and two on the first fret and do that again. Three, twins, three, three. Now we're going to go twins, three, four. So it's going to sound like this. It's got a very distinctive pick. You have to do it like this or people won't recognize it, okay? Three, twins, three, three, twins, three, four. Okay, so let's try that part again, both of those. Three, twins, three, three, twins, three, twins, three, three, twins, three, four. Now we're gonna go, it's a C, but we're actually gonna cheat and we're gonna, well it's not cheat, we're just gonna grab a bass note. We're gonna reach up here with our ring finger and grab the sixth string instead of the fifth. You're used to grabbing the fifth, but we don't need the fifth. We're gonna grab the sixth string, third fret, yeah, and keep our, our pointer on the second string, first fret. And we're gonna do the same pick, but now our bass is gonna be, instead of three, we're gonna be doing six twins, six, six, three, twins, three. So we're gonna go six, twins, six, six, three, twins, three. Now we're gonna do that lovely bar G that's giving me so much trouble and go six. And we're gonna move into the middle. We're moving from one, two, three to two, three, four. So our fingers have been assigned one, two, three up until now, ring, tall pointer. Now we're gonna move them down one and gonna be two, three, four. So six, now twins are now two and three. Six, Twins, six, six, twins, three, no, that's four. Six, twins, six, six, twins, four, five. Yeah, that's right. And then you instantly let go and re-grasp and grab three with your pointer. I have a hard time with that. I'm going to mess up, but that's all right. Three, twins, three, three, twins. Then you're going to pinch. Do it again. and move into the middle three or six twins six six twins four five I hope I did that right I think I said three when I was on that C but anyway it's, it's the bass note not three it's six okay so I'm gonna sing it and we're gonna take it to that part okay so here we go three twins three three twins pinch three twins three three twins three four six twins six six three twins three bar six six move into the middle twins six six twins four five okay now i'm gonna sing that's the intro here we go i found your diary underneath the tree and started reading i lost my place about me I'm such 
such a good bar. <laughs> Not <sighs> tried. I just don't have the power. Okay, now we're gonna do a an A seventh, which is yeah. It's an A. It's an A seventh, but we're gonna add our ring. Red is notorious for this. David Gates loves to do interesting versions of a popular chord. A seventh, pretty typical chord, but he's gonna put a, a ring finger on the first string. So we're gonna go four twins, four two one three four. Okay, so try that with me. Ready? Four twins. That's one and two. Four twins, four. Okay, so just do that. Four twins four two one three four one more time four twins four two one three four then let go of your pointer and do it again four twin ah gotta let go of two four so let go of everybody but your ring four twins four two one three four then we're gonna slide down no no hold on Plain D. Huh. Okay. The love that oh, it's a D7. Yeah, it's a D7. There we go. Okay, I couldn't think of what came next for a second. Okay, so we're gonna then we're gonna go to a D7. The love she. We're gonna take our pointer. We're gonna go up to a B7. This is kind of a cheating B7. Take it up to the fourth fret. Leave everybody else where they were and do a four three twin three. Waited. Now you're gonna slide everybody up one fret and take off your tall man. Four. You're gonna pull this down to one and one. That's a cheating G seventh, and you're gonna go bass twins three, but no, bass twins three six five. You're gonna reach up with your tall man and grab that sixth string and pluck it, and then jump down to the five, and then you're gonna have to go to a full C. So after you do that, yeah, okay. So five twins five five three twins three. G twins, yeah, G twins, G five twins, four twins. Repeat that. C twins, five, five, three twins, three, then G six twins, six, five twins, four twins. Okay, so we are going to do that from the beginning. Then you go back up to the beginning and you start again, okay? Three Six, twins, six, six, three, twins, three, and then the bar. What is that? Six, twins, and move into the middle. Six, twins, six, six, three, twins, four, five. Okay, we're gonna sing it. Ready? I found her diary under. I should have reviewed that other part. Oh well. I found her diary under pinch beneath the tree. And that's kind of a keep your pointer on there. And started read three twins three. A bar G about me. Move in the middle. Me. Then three. Go back up. The word she'd written took me by by surprise. Grab six. You'd never read three twins three in her bar G. Eyes move into the middle. Eyes three, four, five. Okay, then we're gonna do that a seventh, which is like that, but we're ring finger down there. Four is your bass note. They so this is four twins, four, two, one, three, four. Okay, so do that. They said that. Then take that off and take everybody off but your ring. She had found. Uh, go to a D7, do bass three, twins three. Love she. Point her finger up two, two strings to the fourth string, that's a B7. Waited. Slide everybody up and take off your tone and four. That's an E minor. Pull back to a G7, one and one. And you're gonna go four, twins, three, and grab the six. Six, five, go to a C. Twins, six, let's see. Five, twins, five, five, three, twins, three, G, twins, 
six, five twins, four twins, and then a C. C twin, C, C, three twins, three, and then a G. Um, six, six twins, six, five twins, four twins. Okay, then we're gonna go to the second verse. Why not? It's a good review. So you go, oh, I'm on the wrong song. And you go back up, here we go. Um, mm, okay. Then she confronted with the riding there. Grab simple. Seventh. And though she, and though she tried to hide, D seventh, the love that the seventh, she D slide up, night, G seventh, twins, three, six, five, go to a C. Wouldn't you? again. She based, she wouldn't, she show it. Five, four. Now we're going to do something different. Right here we're going to go to a D. We're going to do a bass three, twins three. Now this part, I wouldn't add this in unless you have the rest of this song solid. There's kind of two parts. There's kind of maybe three sections and I never ever teach this in one section. I always teach it in about three. Send them home for a week to practice because it's too much. So if it's if you're getting overwhelmed, stop and practice little chunks and then put it all together. It'll really start to flow. This is the last section that I teach. So if you're ready for that, go ahead and start it. Here we go. So, so we're going to go with a D. And then a B seventh and as. And that's just bass three, twin three, bass three, twin three. Slide up. Take off your tall man. I go G seventh through my off your ring, that's an A minor 7th, I will D, wish for, or give to C, her my G major 7th, I know what a G major 7th, wife of, yeah, okay, so we're going to do this, it says G major 7th, but it's a different version of a G major 7th, so there's a G major 7th, and this is also a G major 7th, but it has a slightly different sound when you're picking it, and this is what he's doing. Okay, so it's it's 5 and 1 on the 2nd fret, ring finger over on the 3rd. Looks like an upside down G to me, sometimes I call this chord upside down G. When technically it's a G major 7th, but so is that, so this is very clear. So we're going to do, okay, again, 5 and 1, 2nd fret, ring finger over on the 3rd string 2nd. No. 2nd string, 3rd fret. You're going to go bass, 3, twins, 3, bass is 5, then we're going to change it to 4. 5, 3, twins, 3, 4, 3, twins, 3. Then you're going to do a C. Sweet things I can. So do that twice. Now you're going to do a B7 and a 4. It's kind of a combo. So you're going to go 5, 5, you're going to go 5 and 3 on the second fret and that's it and you're going to go find bass three twins three let it ring okay so let's do that last little section again so we're starting on a D and then a B seventh and a slide up to an E minor I go pull it down to a G seventh through my C life lift up your ring A minor seventh I will D Give to C, her my, upside down G, G major 7th, wife, so do 5 and then do 4, wife, of a C, sweet things, twice, I can, do that B7, 4, actually I'm going to change it to a B4, 7, I'm noticing they put the numbers in order, huh. so 4 is before 7, so it should go first, B4, 7, okay, so we're going to go 5, the five, three, twins, three, twins, let it ring. All the sweet things I can find. Okay, third verse. Back to the beginning. I found your diary underneath the tree. B7, 
seven thing. The, the, let's see, is that really a B7? A7. The love sheet. And then uh, pull it off and do that. Waited for D7 was someone. Uh, that was my place. Love she waited for was someone. Oh, yeah. Point her finger up um, on the fourth string. Else not. Slide up. One fret and take off your tall mat. Me. Pull it down to one and one G seventh and go bass three. No, bass twins three six five. Grab a C. Wouldn't you G know it? No, yeah, know it. Five four C. She wouldn't show it. Okay, now we're gonna repeat that last little segment that we did. And. Uh, G, wife, now four, all the C, sweet things she can, um, G, find, and then upside down G, all the C, sweet things D, they can, G, find. Beautiful song, sad, but still a touching story of someone who really loves someone else is willing to let them go. All right, okay, I'm going to put it on with David Gates. We're going to try to play it. Now, I should warn you, this song causes my pinky to lock sometimes, so if I can't bend it, it's going to mess me up, but I don't know why. Sometimes when I borrow a lot or play this particular song, it just the position causes it to go, eh, and it won't bend. It's frustrating, but anyway, okay, here we go. Ah, let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, let me start it again. Here we go. Ready? Ah. Hold on a second. Probably just made it worse. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Maybe not. It couldn't have been a whole lot worse than what it was. Okay, here we go.
better than the second verse. Sorry about that second verse. Okay, all right, that is Diary. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Pull it up, play it with David Gates. And um, if you need to see the words, and the, this actually has a copy of a picture of the chords that, that he's doing on that set, so it's very helpful. Go to rainydayguitar.com.